Testing, testing, blowjob. Alright. Hello, hello. You know it's working when the light's blue. It's just me acoustic and I'll just start singing. I gave my grandpa a bath. I squirted and squeezed and tugged on his sack. Clipped his fingernails. Told him I would go to hell if I ever smelled that bitch again.
Makes me want to finger bang a nun You shine so bright in the sky It makes me want to turn the sky into a pound of sweaty rocks White Castle Burgers Microwaved at three minutes Leave the plastic on I want to taste the chemicals Tonight Introduction. If you think spoons are just a little bowl-shaped eating utensil you use to daintily sip lobster bisque, you clearly need to spend more time in trailer parks. As every self-respecting redneck knows, spoons is a musical instrument. Fact is, two spoons held back to back make the finest rhythm section on any side of the Mississippi. And you don't even need to be a pocket scientist to play them. Heck, you don't even need to have a graduate degree. This here book's the first and only spoons playing lesson you'll ever need before you can call yourself a bona fide spooning expert and have a few gigs at ten folks' weddings. So sit a spell, crack those knuckles, and get ready to tap your way to fun and fame. How to hold spoon. Put down your shotgun. This is hard, but you can do it. Cup your right hand like you're holding the mug of your puppy's prairie fire. Slip the handle of one spoon between your trigger finger and middle finger with the spoon bowl facing down. Can you feel the tip of the handle against your palm? Good. Hold the handle of the other spoon between your trigger finger and thumb with the spoon bowl facing up like this. Tighten your grip on the handle so the spoons don't wobble. Leave a little space between the bowls. About the width of a siphon move. Have to tap spoons, one, set. Two, hold your left hand over your right hand about six inches up with your palm facing down. Slip your right hand, that's the one holding the spoons, between your leg and left hand like you're making a spoon sandwich. Leave a couple inches of air on either side, as if potato chips and mayo. Four, tap the bottom spoon against your thigh. Five, tap the top spoon against your palm. Do you hear a click clack sound? Six, tap the spoons anywhere within arm's reach. Try your shoulders, cheeks. 
up his hind side or just flick your wrist in the air like you're cracking a whip in a seven leg hog race. If you can count, you got rhythm. So far, you've been paying attention to this book. You've only spooned in an even rhythm like this. One, two, three, four, with all your feet sounding the same. Now it's time to impress Uncle Daryl and Cousin Daryl, who in many families is the same person, by spooning with rhythm. A rhythm, you ask? Well, in fact, rhythm goes a bit like this. One, two, three, four, with the second and fourth beats emphasized. Emphasized. Verb. One, to tap with more force in order to make a louder sound, such as when playing spoons. Two, to increase the size of your empha or empire by moving all your rusty cars and trucks closer to your neighbor's trailer, thus enlarging your own portion of the park. Question. Now that I'm really, 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 really good at spoons, I'd like to start a garage band. What other folk instruments can I add? answer. Do like they did in Louisville in the early 1900s and add a washboard or empty jug or tin can to your own rhythm section. Leave the melody to a kazoo. Or if you want to get fancy, fashion a banjo out of a broomstick and bread pan like Gus Cannon did in 1895, then you can cover his hits like Pig Ankle Strut in true authentic jug music style. The hills are alive with the sound of spoons and other songs to play. There are as many songs to, the play, to be played on spoons as there are truck stop restrooms with your sister's phone number on them. All you have to do is vary your tapping to make different notes. Here are a few suggestions. High notes. Tap the tips of the spoon. Low notes. Tap the spoon bowl. Warm notes. Use wooden spoons. Crisp notes. Use steel spoons. Ringy tones. Use silver spoons. And deep notes. Open your mouth and tap your cheek. Question. I have champagne taste, but a six-pack budget. Where can I pawn my taxidermic collection so I can purchase the world's finest sounding spoons? Answer, hold on to your roadkill wall trophies and armadillo ashtrays. All you need is a little spare change and enough gas to get the army surplus store. The best sounding spoons are the cheap steel variety, like the ones in this here kit. Question, I have a large collection of souvenir spoons. Which penitentiary spoons make the best music? Answer, none of them. Fancy spoons are no replacement for talent. Chuck the souvenir slammer spoons, and along with his classic spoons, jam spoons, iced tea spoons, salt spoons, gravy spoons, spoons with the names of tourist attractions on them, and spoons in the shape of Elvis or Dolly. You can lead a spoon to water, but you can't make it gallop. Sure you can. Here's how. Sit. Two, curl your left hand like the letter C, holding your fingers down, your thumbs up. Three, make your spoon sandwich with your right hand. Four, tap the bottom spoon against your thigh. Five, tap the top spoon against the fleshy part of your left hand, at the base of your thumb. Six, bring the spoons toward your leg for a thigh tap, but on the way, gently brush their tips against the tips of your curled fingers. If that don't sound like a galloping donkey, get to you your car keys and remove your earwax. The redneck rock and roll. Roll is the last fancy thing you need to know about playing spoons. Here's how you do it. Number one, sit. Two, hold your left hand over your right thigh, about six inches up. With your fingers up, spread apart like a flying squirrel with your rigor mortis. Three, tilt your hand at a 130 degree angle like this. Four, instead of making a spoon sandwich, hold your spoons above your left hand. Five, bring your spoons down, dragging the tip against your outstretched fingers like the tripping down the steps of a double wide. Make sure those spoons bounce against each other and end with a tap on your leg. Question, I have followed every direction in this book and I'm now a bona fide spooning expert. What can I do with my talent besides just have fun? Yeah, so try lulling a gator to sleep the next time you go shoot hunting. Distract an officer from giving your house a speeding ticket. Barter for original artwork from the folks at Earl's Tattoo Den. There's no end to the things you can do with spoons when you mix talent with imagination. Congratulations on learning well done, and good luck on all your future endeavors. This is Yeah. <laughs>
Texas Blizzard Bear. Are you coming from? Texas Blizzard, Texas Blizzard Bear. Are you coming from? Texas Blizzard, Texas Blizzard Bear. Are you coming from? And a one and a two and a thirty, thirty-two. Pick my daddy inside a bar. I told her.
next to them and stick a little puddle in there. So I'll get all this hell that's in the loops. It'll get a little, really, really, really muddy. Let's show. Oh, I'm gonna show up more. Oh, you need all that side. No, there's two in each piece of work. So I'll just get a little bit of 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 Snoops,
Yalnız Bu hemen şirket seçtin o Ne arket sahip Senem bir saat Ve uyum Sırgı O saat ya Skarfidos Lips 
V-A-V. Yeah, I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to get some sleep. 